I want to draw, design, build, read, write. All of these things seem to me to be parts of architecture that I'm really interested in exploring. So typically we start the studio with what I call abstract models. The students started with plastic cups, paper plates, rubber bands, and zip ties. And then the students had to develop their own algorithm. And it really was a challenge having something that you see and interact with every day and trying to find a different way to see it, a different view. And that's really what this studio is about, taking something that's ordinary and making it extraordinary or unusual. We use the technique of curved folding, which is curves on a flat surface to create a 3D surface. From the sketch, we began to figure out what the angles would be, what the shapes would be. We began to then test out our ideas in small models, after which we were able to move to the computer and make our investigations even more clear. In analog, when we made a model, the model could only be one thing. And once we moved to the digital, we were able to make a script that had a single piece perform in all of the ways that each analog piece did. We realized that we could, in fact, make kinetic models, and our models began to move. So we go from the analog world to the digital world and back again. So it's just this feedback loop. When I look at the students' work, I'm often inspired. It's always wonderful to watch them take these seeds, these ideas, and let them grow. The most direct connection between the mind and the paper is through the hands and how we manipulate objects with our hands, how we draw lines with our hands, how we formulate ideas. And with the computer, we're able to refine and clean and modify those ideas, but it's, it always begins with the analog. At this point, with the integration of robotics and computational design, uh, neither the computer nor the machine care whether it's uh, a straight line, a curved line. So this has opened up a whole new toolbox to the architect in terms of how they're able to express design, form, and space. The constant thought process is always going on in my head, always exploding. How does this surface meet the next surface? How does the curve work? How do the angles work? How does one meet the other? Is it a building? Is it a structure? Is it a wave? It's, it's beautiful, really. It could be anything you want. So importantly, the studio is really focused on thinking and engaging a design process that is about relationships, to think systemically through a set of design questions and scenarios, and really learning how to learn. Because one thing that is constant and inevitable is change.